for women's empowerment as it ensures that their voices are heard and their interests are represented in decision-making processes. Women who are in positions of power are more likely to advocate to policies that benefit women and promote gender equality. However, women are severely underrepresented in politics, both at the national and the local levels. Access to healthcare is another key aspect of women's empowerment as it enables them to take control of their reproductive health and make informed decisions about their bodies. It is also ensures that they have access to essential health services and as maternal and child health care, family planning and sexual and reproductive health services. Ensuring women's safety is another important aspect of women's empowerment. Women face various forms of violence, such as domestic violence, sexual harassment, and human trafficking, which prevent them from living their lives to the fullest. Huh? Creating safe spaces for women requires addressing the root cause of violence against women, such as gender inequality, and implementing and policies and programs that prevent and respond to violence. Creating safe spaces for women also requires implementing policies and programs that prevent and respond to violence. In addition to these measures, creating safe spaces for women also requires addressing the root cause of violence, such as poverty and economic inequality. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to introduce before you some very, very, extremely super, vivacious, awesome, stupendous, I'm going to be short of words after some time. These women have led the way. I'm inspired them, uh, by them. And today I'm very happy to introduce all these beautiful, empowered women before you. I'd like to call on the first panelist to our discussion today in no particular order. Dr. Ashita Narayan, please put your hands together, everybody. She's the group president of AM Television Private Limited. She's a dentist by profession and is now amongst the leading women entrepreneurs in Northeast news television industry. She is the lady behind Dr. Vejbara, which was a mega hit across the globe. Please give her a huge round of applause as I request Dr. Ashita Narayan to please take your seat. Our next panelist for in this discussion will be Ms. Megna Mejavi. Another wonderful lady, very beautiful, very attractive, gorgeous, and she's been in this industry for years. Renowned yeah, as Aspie's designer, entrepreneur, to her brand makers, her design studio, she aims to empower women and provide them with employment opportunities. She's the general secretary of the Fashion and Design Council, Northeast India. Louder applause, please, for Ms. Megna Megjumi. Please take your seat. I have with me another wonderful lady. She's a, you know, she's my senior from school, but then she behaves like a 16 year old. She's got that zing in her. I love her for her zing, her beauty, her vivaciousness. And she is Miss Naomi Amarwala. Please welcome mom onto the stage and give her a round of applause. Where are the applauses? I can't hear the applauses. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us. In 2019, Naomi Agarwal founded Guon with the aim of supporting livelihood for skilled women artisans and creating a market for local weavers while celebrating her own love for textiles. A collaboration with, uh, between Naomi's keen eye for design and the hands on knowledge of the weaver, Guon is a social enterprise that believes business and social impact must grow together. Working with over a dozen women weavers from the Rapa and Boro tribes, Buon is committed to evolve an equitable model for handbook weaving, focused on building craft as well as entrepreneurial skill at the grassroots. Welcome, ma'am. I have with me, I have with me another fantastic lady that I've met for the first time, and uh, she has that smile which I have still not got over. She's got that beautiful, attractive smile, and she is Miss Mary Rupa Tete. Warm welcome to you, ma'am. Please come on. She's the vice president of Kusha Silai Schools, Kusha International. And Ms. Tete is an alumnus of IM Kolkata with over 20 years of work experience. 
20 years, my God. At present, she heads the, I thought she was in school. At present, she heads the Usha Silai School Program, which is a pan-Indian community initiative to skill and empower women from rural India. She has worked with organizations on initiating corporate social responsibility through a collaborative approach, aligning the vision of the organization with multiple stakeholders and business interests. She has been spearheading projects nationally. Warm welcome to you, ma'am, and please take your seat and a big round of applause for this awesome, awesome group of panelists. And I'd like to request that Hansi Khan uh, backstage is telling me, I need to come in, I need to come in. Okay, please, sir, please. Thank you so much, Tinanba. Well, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we are about to execute something which we consider to be very, very auspicious or special to our heart, we idly remember our Almighty. And when we remember our Almighty, we light the ceremonial lamp. And hence, I kind of request all our distinguished dignitaries to please step forward and light the ceremonial lamp. And when we light the ceremonial lamp, we idly chant a shlok. But before that, I would also like to welcome Mira Saikya, ma'am, the curator. East India Fashion Week is her baby to please join us on stage along with our distinguished dignitaries. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big round of applause for me, Pastor Khan. Thank you so much. I kindly request all our distinguished dignitaries to please proceed towards the lamp and to be honored by lighting the ceremonial lamp. And when we light the ceremonial lamp, we ideally chant a shlok which states Shubham Karoti Kalyanam Arogyam Dhana Samfardaha Shatru Buddhi Vinashaya Deeper Jyoti Namastate which essentially means that I bow to you our light who brings into our lives some auspiciousness, abundance of wealth, good health and destruction of enemies' intellect. Well, thank you so much. You know, please take your respective seat. Thank you so much. And with this, now, ladies and gentlemen, we officially begin the fifth edition of uh, Annapurna East India Fashion Week 2023, powered by Usha Salai School. So we got to start that. We got to kick off with a huge round of applause, along with some shout outs coming from everybody. Can we do that, please, everybody? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. The stage is on yours. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll proceed ahead with the felicitation and to felicitate our first dignitary, may we please invite on stage Mehta Saikya Nam. And we would like to felicitate our first dignitary here with us, uh, Madam Naomi Agarwal, ma'am. I kindly request uh, Mr. Zaidan to please join us on stage and do the honor of felicitating Madam Naomi Agarwal, ma'am. To the lovely appreciation, I have been like this in the last few years. 2023 powered by Usha Salai School. We would now like to felicitate Madam Mary Rupa Pepe. She is the Vice President of Usha Salai Schools, Usha International. And to do the honor, I once again request Pila Saikana to please step forward. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to felicitate the celebrity fashion designer as the Bigger Shah Ma'am. And to do the honor, I once again request Meta Sekhanam to please step forward and do the honor. As the Bigger Shah Ma'am, yes, you. 
the very stunning and very gorgeous Mazarin Mao. And we finally have the huge high point of today. Vashita Narendra, because please step forward and we have Vera Mantel to the order. She is the group president of AM Television Private Limited, Dr. Ashita Narendra. And finally, the moderator, ladies and gentlemen, she is indeed a very, very favorite person of mine, Tinat Adipa Masoji. I kindly request you to also to please step forward and we have been her man to do the honor. And ladies and gentlemen, you can rest assured of one thing during this kind of discussion. I'm sure Tinipa is going to come up with some hard moving question on women and women. So you want to stay alert and be seated because whatever she asks and the kind of uh, statements she actually come up with might have a lot of uh, resonance to it. Relax as well. Headlines. Okay, headlines. Okay, so we have. Uh, of course, uh, from Prague News, the head of Prague News is here with us. So she is going to make some breaking news tomorrow, probably. We are looking forward to that. From Tinanpa. Great. So let's let's go for it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, can we have some applause to come, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, so right? And we all set to speak about women empowerment. This is something that we've been discussing for so long. And I always feel that we should be actually discussing about it. It should be something so natural. It should be a natural process that women who are empowered, women who are here right now, are actually, they're very strong. They, they are willing to go ahead in life. And they are, uh, they have the dream to carry on, right? So I, I have a question for Dr. Akshita Narayan right away. I mean, I, 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 how many of you have watched Dr. Bez Barua out here? How many of you watched it?
Ratu Kiar Das and Nina B.
super slam goes on the aisle. And on the aisle along with the show opener, Mike Marcella, and the show stopper, Amri Mandaka.
Tunggu dulu Melisa.
Lord and welcome Nishanta Saiya. And she walks down the aisle along with the show stopper, Alishmita Goswami.